Okay, November, November 2015. The flea markets. I don't usually do flea markets in November, but they were having ones. I figured, what the hell? It's cool, nice weather. I'll go up and take a look. Of course, I only gun I saw all day today was a shitty 22 for way too much money, and I said, <laughs> no way. And size for a child to boot, so that's a little wasted for me. But I do have some other good things I found. Two honor flags. Usually I generally manage at least one honor flag every time I go to these flea markets. You know, people don't uh, honor their deceased veterans and they uh, just toss these things out for sale. And look at this, a full shadow box display. Even got the blanks in it. I mean, who would part with that? Apparently someone did, but uh, I got it. Uh, let's see, I got my usual spices. I got some socks. I got some cool CDs or some good music. And, with a scabbard, we have here a World War II M1 Garand bayonet. There it is. It's a fork and hoe. 1942. It's one of the cutdowns. This was cut down from a 16-inch bayonet. That was done because they needed some 10 inches, and they just went and got them. Couldn't make them fast enough, so they just uh, cut some down. Nice condition, and <laughs> the price was really good. And, let's see. Picked up uh, some Winchester stainless primers. I got some... 45 caliber uh, long Colts, I'm going to use for a shadow box. A nice mic. I saw a lot of mics today. And this is a good American made one, high quality. Yet people throw them out for next to nothing. Don't know why, but that happens. Found the quarter inch drive extensions I needed because I got helpers that lose them all the time. On the way home, I stopped at a tag sale and there was someone selling a lot of tools. And we have boxes and boxes of really good stuff. I mean, some of this is snap on. You know, look at these snap-on punches for basically 50 cents each, you know. I got uh, an electronics tweezer set here. Full tweezer set for $5. How could you beat that? And on this, I'm not sure if this is aluminum or titanium, but it's a snap-on wrench. Pay 20 bucks for this. It looks unused. Just sat around. These snap-on pipe wrenches are, well, what, 80 to 100 bucks? They're, they're very expensive. 20 bucks. And I needed one, too. Craftsman wrench for a dollar. We got uh, oil filter wrenches. We got, you know, air pressure testers. I got a little knife there. It doesn't much, but uh, and this, <laughs> a snap-on pick set, five bucks. And here we have, I forget what this is. Oh, these are the, another set of tweezers. I got uh, all kinds of oil filter wrenches and sockets and screwdrivers. Good American-made screwdrivers, not crap. Good ones. This is a Jensen one, this one, but uh, <laughs> dollar each. We got uh, nice little ball-peen tack hammers that I use both for the guns and for working on my controllers. This is an American-made one, made in USA. Good quality, not junk. And I got it. I got the whole set of them for ten bucks. I gotta beat that. And look at this wood clamps. Nice wood. These are great when you gotta fix a crack in the stock. A lot easier to use a small wood clamp than a really big one. They both do the same job. Got three of them. Fifteen bucks. And I picked up a little phonograph I found. The man wanted sixty bucks for it. The only reason I paid that is because the reproducer head belongs on the Victrola from about 1910. Serial numbered. And uh, that made it worth what I paid for the entire machine. Got a little oil lamp there. A small one. It's not very old. But it's a little one, and sometimes little ones are hard to find. Now, little ones were something better to have around than the big ones. If you had the power out and you want to use a little oil lamp, you don't really need a lot of light. These, these are perfect. Fit in a small space, don't throw off a shitload of heat. They're not bad. Got some socks, needed those, grabbed them. And actually, this is the crank handle for the uh, control. I don't want to lose that. Should keep it with it. Well, what else we got? Uh, the spices I covered, the tools I covered. I saw a lot of bayonets today, so a lot of Japanese bayonets. Believe it or not, this guy with the M1 Garand bayonet had two Japanese bayonets, typical Arasaka, World War II vintage, nothing special, not last ditch, but you know, $95 to $120 each. Okay. And yet he sells me this for half that. I mean, <laughs> what are you thinking? You know, US mill strip stuff comes first, not the foreign stuff. But over here, somebody apparently thought they were worth more because they looked a little prettier, maybe. I don't know. I saw a lot of uh, Mauser bayonets, drastically overpriced. That's the way it goes sometimes. Last couple flea markets, I bought Mauser bayonets. Uh, 
for basically half what they should have gone for, and they were really nice. This time, everybody wanted their the world for them. Okay, keep them then. I don't give a damn. You know, the usual uh, Carcano bayonets and uh, a few Swedish ones. Nothing that I needed, and all of them looked pretty rough. And uh, I wasn't going to pay a lot of money for that. Got another air chuck here. I mean, really, the tools were... I mean, look at this. Blue point snap-on. You know what snap-on dealers get for these? And it's just about giving them away. Nice clip set here. Yeah, I'm set for a while with screwdrivers now. I did okay with those. And look at this. Nice American-made wire stripper here. I've needed one of these for a while. One I had disappeared someplace. Now I got another one. Was this this? Yeah, this is a blue point pair of water pump pliers. Probably made by Channel Lock, but they got the blue point name on them. That means Snap On will guarantee that. Unbelievable. What some, well, I guess it was a divorce situation, and the, the ex wife was selling off the husband's stuff. She called him a hoarder, actually. And what he hoarded was tools. Luckily for me, because I took full advantage of that. Me and a friend of mine, we, uh, we cleaned up. We loaded the car. I took what I needed. He took a whole bunch of crap. And that, that, that about covers it for the November flea market. For the goodies. Don't know what I'm going to do with those honor flags. I must have about uh, four or five of them now. going to sell a few of them. You know, move them on. Because I, I only pick these up because I hate seeing them lying on these damn filthy tables with stuff all over the top of them. Look at the dust marks on that. Somebody had stuff laying on top of it. It was disrespectful as hell. I mean, what the hell, people, you know? Honor your veterans. It's almost Veterans Day and this is what you're doing. Well, what are you going to do? And that's it.